I got fresh new batch of glass so today I can try to fix the problems which appeared in sealing of the glass in the previous episode and uh, today I want to fix several things uh, first of them uh, the glass is ground and polished on both sides so that the parts are easier to stick to each other like they sit perfectly flush uh, this is one thing. Uh, another uh, I have here late burner. The main problem as you pointed out in the comments uh, was that I didn't have enough power with the small handheld torch so today I want to try using uh, this late burner. I will add two more two more jets so that it provides more heat and the glass will be <clears throat> the glass will be heated tangentially like like this so that only a thin uh, strip of the glass is heated if I if I point the flame towards the glass it tends to spread and heat larger section of the glass and I want to avoid this because in this case I would heat also the internals and the internal system is made of stainless steel it would oxidize and it could get damaged so uh, I want to use this light burner to heat just the perimeter of the glass, like just thin section and seal it all together. This is first time I'm using this type of burner, so you can see me struggling quite a lot with, with it, with the settings. To get it working properly, I will need to fit it with proper gas and oxygen valves. As a part of this temporary setup, there are blanking caps uh, used on the unused uh, outputs for the jets. So uh, with these foils, I'm trying to protect them against the heat. some additional tuning. Uh, notice that I'm heating the glass only on the edge. I'm not heating the front window in the center and this will turn out as a, as a problem. The glass is finally cooled down in a gradually cooler and cooler flame. As you can see the flame is changing from blue to orange. The orange flame has lowest temperature. In the video about the previous attempt of sealing this front window, 
uh, I showed you the little crack which formed in the front window and this time just a few minutes after turning off the camera the front window shattered it was like an explosion like a total crack all around the perimeter of the front window you can see it here I mentioned that I heated the glass only on the perimeter and this caused a stress build up along this perimeter it's still visible here under polariscope the stress follows the perimeter line on the inner edge in the in the front window so in the next attempt I will try to flame anneal the front window after making the seal the center piece is completely without stress The camera takes it from wrong angle, but here I am hitting the front window, like the overall area of the front window, so that the glass have a chance to uh, heat up and uh, release the stress in the glass. And here the entire seal is cooled together with the front window. Uh, the seal is cooled by the late burner and the front window is cooled by the hand torch. You can see that there is a suit building up. Uh, this means that it's already cooled down enough below the, below the annealing temperature. So it seems like a success. This is third attempt of sealing the front window into the envelope glass, into the large 150 millimeters glass. And uh, it looks good. When you look under polariscope, there is still a lot of stress in the glass, apparent. Like uh, these areas where the color changes rapidly means that there is the biggest stress. Uh, but uh, we will see whether this is a problem once we evacuate this tube and uh, fill it with the gas. Uh, then there will be additional stress by the surrounding atmospheric pressure and we will see if they tend to crack. So normally we should put this glass into oven but uh, we won't be able to do this with our tube because it will contain getters and other sensitive parts uh, which would get saturated or damaged with high temperature so we will have to find a way how to seal the window glass into the envelope and uh, like flame anneal it while it's still on the light without using oven